Oh, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, says I, captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I was planning to fish for a whole hour. Catch a load of fish and just see how many nanites that's going to bag me. But I figured, rather than fish for a full hour, let's just fill up one of my storage containers with fish. And then we'll go and sell all said fish. So let's, let's go and have a quick look at one of my storage containers. And I'll show you what I mean. So, where are my storage containers? They're down here. I guess. Boom! And we take to the skies. So this is my storage container right here. Bang. And we've got quite a lot going on here at the moment. So there you go. Let's just transfer these over. Now, for me to completely fill this, it's going to take a lifetime. So I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm going to fill it completely. But I'll show you how many fish I've got in here. And it's going to be roughly about an hour's worth of fishing, I'd imagine, people, by the end of it. I mean, I've already done fishing over the last couple of days, so I've already got a little bit of a head start on this anyway. But yeah, I'm just going to screw all of my fish into here, and then I'll reconvene in a bit and uh, show you... Well, we'll we release them. We'll release them into the sea, and we'll see how many nanites we get. Now, I've also got these auto fishers, so I can pick those up. And chuck those straight into my storage containers as well. Lovely, got three there. Coolio. And I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing. I'll probably, I'll probably share with you some of my fishing footage, to be honest. And let's go to that one. And let's empty that one too. So we've got quite a lot going on inside of here already, haven't I, peeps? So anyway, I'm going to be on the dock in a bit doing some fishing. And I'll reconvene in a moment. I've got two storage containers at this base, one for my fish and one for me to just squirrel away all my stuff inside of my actual inventory that isn't bait. So then I can continue fishing and not have to worry about my storage capacity running out. So we go and move all these over and I'll be right back with you. Righto chums, so I've got all my baits at the top here, got all my stuff over there, there's a few bits that wouldn't fit in, but hopefully this area now, inside of my inventory, is free for me to fish. Right, well let's get up on my old mezzanine, and let's start the fishing process, shall we? Heck yes, well it's night time, so you know what, I'll put on a night bait for now, let's just go on over here, take the bionic one off, let's go put on one of the dingly dangly night ones, there we go, chicka pow. And uh, we're going to be casting out with that for now then, people. Let's see how we get on. Must cast into water. There we go. In your water you go. Plop. I was also thinking I've got a load of fish inside of my cold storage inside of my skiff. So I might have to get some of that and put that into the other vault as well. But I'm thinking maybe do like maybe half an hour's fishing here. Just get some of my exosuit storage filled up. Because then I think I've got roughly about two hours worth of fish. There we go. Wow! Got ourselves a lovely starfish. Let's continue on. I'll reconvene a bit later, people. I'll show you how much stuff I've managed to catch in about half an hour's time. Okay, chums. Well, a report, a um, a storm has just rolled in. So I'm going to just swap out from my night bauble to the report one. I mean, um, no, to the storm one. I don't know why I keep saying report for, but there we go. Attract storm loving fish. So, where we go? Cast that out. So, if it's daytime, I'm using the day orb. If it's nighttime, I'm using the night orb, the shadow orb. And if a storm rolls in, I'm using this one, which is some sort of mag magna pulse law. Okay, boom. And that gives me a higher chance of catching not only night fish, but storm fish or whatever. It's like subsidiaries. And sometimes when the day comes round, rather than use the day orb, I'm using the bionic lore, which gives you legendary chance on fish. Okay, well, daytime has rolled in. I've now got the bionic lore on the line. I mean, I could swap to the day orb to sort of give myself a bit more varied catch, but um, the bionic orb gives you legendary chance, uncommon chance. And I think this is going to give me more nanites using this, to be fair. The more uncommons, the rares, and the legendaries I catch, the better. Look at this little ship just sort of flying over. I don't know, don't know what he was up to. I think it's an NPC ship. What the fudge? I've not seen that happen before. How bizarre. Oh, just caught another fish. Sweet. 
Okay, we're doing quite well so far, people. We've got all these. We've got one legendary amongst them. Heck yes. Lovely jobs. Let's just continue on. I got myself another legendary snail! I guess. Very nice. Cool. A voice like honey from a mouth of mucus. Very lovely. Okay, chums, I've actually put this on to auto fish now. Mainly because I had two fish get away in a row because I was distracted. But yeah, it's just working quite nicely. But I'm, I'm catching like, you know, maybe two a minute, maybe 30 seconds or so. Considering that you can get like a hundred odd nanites for a blue one like that i'm quite excited to see just how many nanites we're going to get at the end of this well just cast that back out but i'll see you in a bit yeah right chums it's been a good half an hour and this is my fish that i've managed to capture a kate now these things fill up every i think 40 minutes or so so i might have some more in here that i can take out and just stick into my exosuit as well just to bolster that catch as well so let's uh, grab those but i'm thinking everything that i've got in storage right now inside of my storage container is probably about another half an hour's worth of manual catches and auto catches so i'd like to think that that's probably a full-on hour's worth of fish it's just that uh, fishing for me Without the models there, it's not as interesting as I'd like it to be. Yeah, it's almost double what I've got there. So let's just transfer these over and let's just say that's my hour's worth of fishing done. Okay, there's no legendaries in there. A lot of these have been auto catches, to be fair, and a few of them have done fishing catches. So we've got all these to release. Now, my current nanites is 107 222. 107 007 107 Okay, well let's um let's start releasing these little suckers then, shall we? Oh god. You gotta do it like that, have you? Okay. Well that's that's given me a stack of now. That's actually given me 374 just for that one type of fish. Oh this is painful. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be throwing these fish back into the ocean like this. Probably for the next 10 minutes, and we'll see how many nanites we freaking get. But, you know, handing these into Kronos is going to take twice as long as this, but this is still painful. Man, it's a shame you can't release more than... Oh, you can't release more than one. There's no way to just do the full stack. Oh, that's... that sucks. Okay. All right. I didn't think it would be this painful, but it is. All right, people, I'll reconvene in a bit. Chums, I'm nearly falling asleep doing this. Seriously, this is this is almost as bad as turning them into Kronos. This is really tedious. Okay, cool. Saying that, I've got over 5,000 nanites. I don't know whether it's worth it, people. I mean, catching them was kind of like watching paint dry as well. And then this is worse than watching paint dry. It's gone from daytime to freaking nighttime now, people. Oh, my days. Okay, I'm nearly there. But you can see how tedious this is. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to edit all this out because so you can see just how painful this is. I mean, I've got a. I've got a batch of nine there. I'm dreading that one. Okay, here we go. Oh, hopefully, there's no more when I scroll down. Okay. What are we on now? It's nearly six thousand nanites. Getting close. Anyway, I'm going to do the math though because I don't trust that counter. It's just gone over six thousand now. Let's get rid of that odd one. Okay. Three. Two. Oh, it feels longer than it actually is when you're actually doing it. Oh, my days. Painful as. Anyway, we've got any more. No, that's all the fish. I have released the fish. And we're now on 113410. 113. Okay. So let's have a quick look, see, because my maths isn't the best maths in the world. Let's bring up an old calculator. Calculator. And we've got one one three four one zero minus one zero seven two 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 equals I've just earned myself six thousand one hundred and eighty eight nanites in one hour. Six thousand one hundred and eighty eight an hour. Okay. I don't know whether that's worth it. Considering I can just spin up tainted metal to nanites. Or I can go to, say, a, 
Oh, what is it? One of those deposit farms. Those weird unknown deposit farms. And uh, yeah, you get a load that way. So, I don't know. I mean, is it a fun way? I just said I nearly fell asleep. And I did. It was uh, not the funnest, to be fair. So, in answer to that, I think there are some cooking goods that can earn you more nanites and then hand them into Kronos, but that's like watching paint dry. This is like watching paint dry too, um, slightly more fun than the cooking method, but I think doing the runaway mould farm, that's it, the runaway mould farm or um, the, the, the deposit farm is probably the best way of doing it or doing a couple of derelict freighter runs, getting some, derelict, um, some tainted metal and maybe duplicating the tainted metal is probably still the quickest way to get nanites. Yeah, I think that's probably the quickest way to do it, to be fair, people. But anyway, there we go. That's the test done. It's uh, becoming a fish farmer or a fishmonger, or whatever you want to look at it. It can be quite fruitful for nanites if you've got the patience to do it. I think we need another vendor where we can turn this stuff in in bulk and just sell it to them. All of it and get a shed load of nanites or choose units. It'd be nice if there was some sort of little hermit guy that appears on the coastlines. Almost like a random trader, perhaps they could land in a in a, an old ship covered in rust or something. Or it could just be a fixed actual structure, a building, and not, you could build your base close to it on purpose. And maybe they give you a higher yield, and especially for maybe some of that rusted technology. Maybe they give you shed loads of maybe even quicksilver for that stuff. I don't know. I think they need to think of what comes next. Why are we doing the fishing? There needs to be decent risk and reward. And at the moment, the amount of time sinking into this just isn't paying off to make it worthwhile or lucrative enough, in my opinion, for the amount of time that we're ploughing into it. There you go, people. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Sound up in the comments. Let me know if I am. But to get 6,000 units in the space of an hour, I don't know whether that's worth doing, to be fair, people. I don't. I don't think that's worth doing. Considering you, you, there are ways and means to get S-Class modules. Doing a derelict freighter run, you're going to get tainted metal. You're going to get given ship modules. You're going to get given um, some tech at the end as well. That you can all sell into nanites. You also get given, like, hadal cores and all sorts of larval cores, all sorts, while you're running a derelict freighter. Spinning all that into nanites is probably more lucrative. In fact, I think going on one of these new desolate planets and getting all the uh, radiant stuff, all the purple crystals, and spinning that into nanites is probably more profitable. Or taking out sentinels is probably more fun and probably going to give you more nanites per hour than fishing. So, there we go, people. I've done the test. From what I can see, it's it's not really worth the time investment unless you really enjoy fishing. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.